Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we will be providing an overview of LensGo.ai. So LensGo.ai is a free AI platform designed to allow and assist users in creating personalized images and videos. It also has creation models which we could choose from. This can generate videos with different lengths and camera movements. Text prompts can also be used to guide this AI to create content. Now, it has four different packages, the free, the standard, the pro, and the mega. Now, pro is recommended. Of course, you could explore this because these have different features as you would expect. Now, when we look at the main interface, it's a dark themed interface with lots of graphics, lots of uh, moving parts and pictures and videos that we could uh, explore and play with. Now, here in the tools, you have the style transfer, you have the create images from text, you have text to video, we have training and model. Now you can trade custom styles for characters from your images. Down here, you have featured models, you have fantasy scenes and different other options which you can explore. Now we're gonna try to do uh, one or two examples here just so we can see, but I also wanted to explain that with the free plan, you have 100 credits. Now, in a moment, we're going to see what it costs to create just one content to see how many credits that we could actually use to create one content. So one of the first things we'd like to try is to create an image from text. So we're going to click on this one here, the create images. Let's try that. So right away, it takes me to this page. It's blank, waiting for some text prompt, but on the left side or the sidebar here on the left, you have the dimensions. So if you wanted to create a 16 by nine, you could select that uh, number of images because when you actually write the text prompt, it's going to create variations of what you, or different versions rather, of what you uh, actually described. So here we have a prompt, a young girl running on the horizon while the sun sets, All right? So I'm just gonna give this a space, I guess, because that's gonna make more sense. While the sun sets. So we're going to generate, we're going to see how much credit, remember, how much credit it takes, and how well it produces or generates the image. So let's press the button here. On the horizon, a young girl is running on the horizon while the sun sets. So the sun is setting, looks good, so of course, you be the judge of how good this is, but I think this is really nice because of what we gave to the AI to create. And now we're gonna try another uh, model for creation. And now we're going to look at another feature of this website, the text to video. So we could generate our videos from text prompts. So we're going to click on it. And at this point, our creativity is going to come into play. We need to write a text prompt that will generate a video. So as you can see, I'm writing a text prompt, a cat scuba diving for fish. Let's see how that turns out. So we're going to click on generate. So it also shows you how many seconds or how long you have to wait to see the results. So we're going to wait for that. And now we have the results. So we're yet to play it, and I can I think I can see a cat in this in this video. So I'm going to try to play it. All right. So the cat is in the water, and it's scuba diving for a fish. Although I don't think the the cat has seen any fish, but this just shows that the text prompt works in creating a video. So the text prompt to video works just fine, and this is how to do it. And now we're going to look at yet another feature of this website. So we've done create images. We've also shown how text could be changed to videos. And now we want to get to the style transfer. So what this does is it changes the style of the video. And you could select what style or area you want to change. You could change the people or you could change everything. So for this demonstration, I'm going to just leave it at all. You have the edit range. You have to change it for the first five seconds, first 15 seconds, or the full video. Now, you could also see the sign here in the 15 seconds and the full 
that you actually have to go pro. So we're going to leave it in the first five seconds so you can see what it can do. And you also have motion quality. We're going to use the normal because this is the free version and the high is for the paid version. And now we're going to either drag and drop a file to upload or if you do not have any media, you could actually try the options down here. So I'm going to actually make a selection from a video I already have. So I'm going to select an upload video. You could also drag and drop it if you want, but I'm going to select an upload. So I've selected a video and the upload is in progress. So now we have this video. And one thing we need to also take note of is the style. So the style is to change it to Pixar, right? So we have other options here and we could change it to Lego. We could change it to Van Gogh or origami. We're going to leave it in Pixar because Pixar is cool. Or you have the option to change to a prompt. You could write Pixar style in the prompt or write any other information. So we're just going to go back to style, let it be in Pixar, and we're going to generate. To generate this video, you can you have to spend 15 credits. So we're going to select generate video. All right. So we have the video now. The video now has been generated. So here on the sidebar, we're going to click on it to watch it. It changes to a Pixar style. Um, and yes, the face is different, but we get the idea. It does change to a Pixar style video. You have the option to remix the video or download it again from this preview. And now we're going to look at another feature of this website. And now we're going to look at yet another option for creativity that we have here in LensGo, the Restyle Photo option. It says to transform images with text or models. So we're going to click on it. And we're going to select the model. Let's select the mosaic style. And I'm just going to have one image. You want to remember that with more images you have, the number of credits you will need for this would increase. So for two images, you need four credits. For four images, you need eight credits. So we're just going to have two images. So rather, we're just going to have one image and we're going to upload a photo. And while it's loading, we remember that the model that this uh, content will be done with is the mosaic style. And so we have the options here and we're going to um, say a close up of an abstract mosaic with a person looking down against green background. The square is tiled in squares. So we're going to select that and we're going to generate. Great. Now we can see the changes that have been applied. And if we have a look, we have the reference image here and we have the mosaic style. That's cool, right? So you can always have different styles you'd like. When you select the model, you can now put the picture you'd like to change into that style and then you can generate it. This looks pretty much just like the reference photo. And now we're going to look at yet another feature from this website. And then we have the training models. The training models requires you to create custom models. You can actually train this AI to follow with the pictures you will provide. You need about eight pictures. And as you can see from this thumbnail here, you might want to choose, for example, as this example shows here, there are, there are pictures of sculptures. So if you have this as a model, any picture you have and you set that as a model, the pictures will now look like models. So we're going to try this as an example and you're going to see how it works. So we want to create a new model and we're going to name this model sculptures or let's name this uh, stones, right? We could name that stones and then we're going to click and the, the base model simply states which on which aspect you want it. If you want it to be real or if you want it to be animated or in anime rather. So we're going to live it in real and we have eight pictures here or eight samples to train the AI to create pictures from a model that it will create from this. So we're going to start doing that. So it's going to take a while and we're going to wait for it to do that and we'll be back.
And true to its word, it took about 20, 25 minutes to, to create this models from a, a stone themed model that I wanted it to have. And now we could, we could try to make something out of it. So now we could make a video or an image. So now we're going to try with an image from the, from the model that we created with the stone like images that we gave to this AI. So we're going to select an image now. We're going to create two samples and we're going to generate and we could select this one and we're going to generate it. So we have this now It's like a stone image of what we had from the, for the, from the original image. We could see this lady here with her arms over her elbow and we could see the stone image doing the same thing. So this is how to create images from custom made models. So this is how much we could take from LensGo. We hope you could try this out and enjoy the features and have fun with it.